Hey guys, welcome to the hacked existence demo of Bracktooth. So Bracktooth is a family of vulnerabilities that impacts uh, a specific chipset of Bluetooth devices. In this video, we're going to look at my Bose SoundLink Mini 2, and I'm going to kick it on just as if I was going to use it normally. It's already paired to this iPhone, so it's going to connect to it automatically. I'm going to hit play on this royalty-free YouTube dubstep here. So now we've got some audio coming out of our speaker. Now I'm going to use this ESPW Rover kit plugged into an Ubuntu 1804 laptop here to launch the attack. And you can see I've already given it the Bluetooth MAC address of the target, that's our speaker here. And I've picked the invalid MAC slot exploit. So let's go ahead and run this. And it takes a minute to set up. But here we can see the audio has stopped and it's actually blipping. So if you listen for it, you'll hear it chop in and out. Uh, this is one of the more aggressive attacks that just about cuts out the audio altogether, but some of the other attacks cause much smaller jitters in the audio. But the reason I wanted to show this specific attack is because if this happened to me while I was listening to my Bluetooth speaker, I would go over and try to power cycle it. So if I turn it off and I'll cut off the attack now and go ahead and turn it back on. What we'll notice is it didn't automatically reconnect to the iPhone and it's going to sit here and flash for about 30 more seconds and then it'll drop into pairing mode because it can't find the iPhone sitting right next to it. iPhone disconnected, ready to pair. So now at this point, I have to go back into the settings and I can connect to it from the iPhone. Connected to iPhone. And now it'll work again as an audio device. So not all of the exploits that I tested do that. This seems to be the only one that, that prevents it from connecting automatically after a power cycle. Uh, but mileage will vary. So there is a whole list of exploits here that we can look at by running the list exploits command. And you can basically iterate through all of these. Some of them do nothing at all. Um, and they're all going to be different based on the chipset and how the Bluetooth stack is implemented on the device you're targeting. So in addition to denial of service attacks against Bluetooth audio peripherals, Bracktooth has also been demonstrated to impact chipsets on laptops and smartphones. And they have some really interesting research around getting arbitrary code execution on ESP32 based Bluetooth chipsets like this one. So overall, a neat little family of vulnerabilities if you want to be able to impact Bluetooth audio devices. As always, stay tuned and thanks for watching.